the National Youth Service Base in Gilgil. <laughs> 6 a.m. in the morning. The new recruits are out undertaking their everyday routine. The group undergoing vigorous and intense exercises better known as paramilitary training. This is what recruits mostly go through as they prepare for numerous other programs in the institution. Public Service, Gender and Youth Cabinet Secretary Margaret Kobia heaping praise on the program which she says is hugely beneficial to the youth. It is very important that when you are here, you remember how it's important to go through the program, the training program, so that you have now a different approach to life in terms of in dis being disciplined, patriotism, that you, you care about your country. The CS calling on young people not to overlook the institution as it is critical in shaping their future careers. When you complete this program, you have other opportunity to go either through vocational training program, which will help you to develop some skill that you can be able to get either employed, you can also be able to be an employer, or you can be able to do something for yourself. She said the institution is being revamped to provide programs that are helpful in the job market. We are only like two years in the ministry. But within that very short period, we have found employers coming to National Youth Service and they ask us, we want 300 of NYS youth to go and work in our organization. 10,000 new recruits are expected to graduate late this year after a four months. 10,000 new recruits are expected to graduate late this year after a four months.